Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Eric Farewell with Aviator Paramotor, and today we're bringing you a video that has been needed to be made for quite some time. There have been reports for years about Vitarazzi Moster exhaust cracking, and it's because they cracked a lot. Uh, at, at first, it didn't seem like that many, then all of a sudden, all the paramotor forums were just packed with people complaining about their cracked exhaust. But my friend Justin Fox at Fly My PPG told me that he'd never had one crack despite flying one for years and he told us why he thought that was. He was flying three spring exhausts, now four spring exhausts, hundreds and hundreds, of, hundreds and hundreds of hours with no cracked exhaust and we've been utilizing the same method here and since we switched to four spring exhausts we've had zero cracked exhaust across our fingers. But it seems silly so I figured I'd make a video about it, walk you guys through the steps, step by step, what we do to protect our Vitarazzi Moster exhaust. First things first, put your paramotor on. I'm gonna strap into the helmet, just for hearing protection. I've already primed the motor, so that should be easy. Trusty new throttle, reach for this. Now the key, guys, is to let the motor warm up for longer than you think you should. So let this thing warm up. Don't get in a rush trying to get everything out there and take off in 30 seconds. About three minutes of warm-up time is your goal. Add idle, and then a nice smooth run-in, allowing the temperature of that exhaust to, grit, to grow slowly. The metal does not, not like to have shock heating or shock cooling. So by allowing it to just kind of relax, and make things easier, make things more comfortable. It's pretty simple. What I'll generally do is I'll actually do just what you see right here. <laughs> Take the glider, carry it out, lay it out, and then, and only then, do I do the rest of my warm up. Because the reality is, you know, you gotta lay your glider out anyway. You might as well do it while your engine's warming up. The other option would be to put this on a motor stand, which is another great option so you don't have to carry the weight on your back. But for me, you know, it's not that heavy. It's totally doable. It's a little bit late in the day right now. It's around uh, two o'clock in the afternoon on a May day. But uh, we're gonna fly the Mojo Medium. Let's get things prepared. Put my helmet strap in here. Let me go up and do some thermaling. It's a beautiful day. A little breezy, should be easy. Again, we're looking for that magic three minute number. It doesn't have to be the world's sexiest thing. But by giving your wing or your motor time to warm up slowly, everything just feels better. All right, wings out. Motor's been on my back for probably about two minutes, two and a half minutes. We'll give it another few seconds. Flip it, see how it feels. Good throttle response. A little thermal coming through. <laughs> All right. I deem that to be about two and a half to three minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring that motor up. Clear it out, everything feels good. We've got a nice bit of wind right now. Try it for a little. Fun inflation. Little cobra. Get it balanced.
So that's how you keep your Moster exhaust safe. Keep it warm slowly, take your time, don't get in a rush. I'm gonna go fly some more. These clouds are begging to get rid of. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you very soon.